Hi guys, Miss Ruth here. Happy New Year. How was your Christmas? I sure hope you got that special gift you wanted. Well, you know, today is Epiphany Sunday. And Epiphany comes 12 days after Christmas. And it always falls on January 6th. However, we celebrate it today. Epiphany is the day we remember the three wise men visiting baby Jesus. Have you ever been on a really long trip? Probably with your families on a vacation or to visit a relative or maybe just going out and exploring a place you've never been before. But how do you find a place if you haven't ever been there before? What kinds of directions can you follow to get to somewhere new? These days, we have it pretty good because we've got GPS. That means we can use our phones or even the GPS in our cars to get to places we've never been before. All we have to do is plug in where we want to go on the map feature on the phone or type in the address in the car and boom, it will guide us exactly where we want to go. In fact, the voice will tell you, turn left here, recalculating, or when possible, make a U-turn. So it's pretty easy to follow directions nowadays. Now there was a time in the Bible when some men took a long trip to see baby Jesus. Jesus was still kind of young. We're not exactly sure how young, under two years old, or maybe like one-ish. We really don't know that part. But Jesus got a visit from these men who we often call wise men or magi. Now the wise men or magi are people who were very, very smart. They did a lot of schooling, they did a lot of research and reading, and they lived far, far away from where Jesus lived. They lived way out in the east somewhere. We don't know exactly where, but they saw a very special star in the sky. I bet you've never had a star guide you where you wanted to go, have you? Maps, compasses, GPS, sure. But a star? I don't know about that. Well, anyway, they saw this really huge, bright star, and they knew that something very special was about to happen. They decided that they would follow this star, so they took this very long journey. Now, it was really a long, long journey. Some Bible scholars said the trip may have taken up to two years to complete. And it was probably a very expensive journey because they had to buy food and they had animals to take care of. They didn't have cars and planes and trains and buses back then. I don't know exactly how it went. I'm not quite familiar how you use a star to guide you. I mean, I'm sure they did, but most stars are only shining at night. So do you look where it's leading at night and follow the general direction during the day? Did they have compasses and maps? Did they get lost and end up wandering around for a while? I don't know because we don't have all those details. But they were determined, so they took this journey because they wanted to see what this star meant and where it would lead them. When they got to where Jesus was, they were so excited and amazed. They had found what they were looking for, baby Jesus, the Messiah of the world. Now these men were not raised in the Jewish faith like a lot of people around where Jesus lived. They studied the Bible, but they really didn't know much about it yet. So God revealed to them that this Messiah had come, and they knew he was something very, very special. They were willing to follow the star to find Jesus. And when they found him, they were so excited, they bowed down and worshiped him. They even brought him gifts of gold, 
which is a gift for a king. Frankincense, which is used by priests. And myrrh, which is a fragrant perfume. They bought him these really important and expensive gifts and gave them to Mary and Joseph. They were so thankful that God had allowed them to see the newborn king. You know, we too can celebrate that God sent the star to shine on his son and that God revealed what he had done to everyone all over the world. God wants everyone to know that good news. But we don't have to follow a star because God gave us a very, very important guidebook. And that's the Bible. God had given us his word, his laws, his love, his story, and they're all in the pages of the Bible. When we read the Bible, we can hear God's word speaking to us. Sometimes we feel uncertain about something or we're not sure what to do, or we're not sure what God has planned, or where things are going. But we can read the Bible and understand how God wants us to live and what He wants us to do. So we pray, go to church, read the Bible, and we know that God will do great things for us, just like He did for the Magi so many, many years ago. So let's pray and thank God for giving us direction and for shining his light on us. Dear God, thank you for sending your son. Thank you for your word, the Bible. Help us to understand it, to read it, and to follow your directions. Guide us in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, it's been so much fun. I hope to see you again soon. Smooches. <laughs>